For more than a month, Detroit suburbs have hosted vigils, where the victims of war between Israel and Hamas were remembered for prayers, candles and crying speeches. However, these guards told war about war and also Rashida Tlaib, only Palestinian American in Congress, which represented region. Last week at the Southfield with Israeli hostages in Adat Shahalem Synagogue, Jeremy Moss from Southfield, a suburban of a large Jewish population in Mrs. Tlaib's region, spoke with anxious components, I came, he said, the next night, majority in the Arab American in cave, Israel's Gaza invasion for Palestinian losses. Speakers condemned condemnation of Ms. Tlaib for their statements on conflict. Khalid Tarani, a Palestinian-American activist, compared Ms. Tlaib's censorship with a Congress member and slavery Joshua Reed Giddings, who was censored by House colleagues for introducing decisions against slave trade in 1842. I think history is repeating itself. M. Since Hamas' surprise attack Israel on 7 October, no American politician for President Biden has been more involved in discussions Israeli-Hamas war than Mrs. Tlaib. Since its elections in point two zero one eight, the Congress member was leading voice of Palestinian rights in Congress. Interviews in region of Mrs. Tlaib revealed divided screen view of war in Gaza and left complaints. That shaped it naked. The division will create a challenging challenge for any politician. However, for Mrs. Tlaib, who makes a position alienating most of these components, may be irreparable. After October 7 attack, when Hamas attackers killed about 1,200 people and took about 240 hostages, Mrs. Tlaib was one of the 10 House members who voted against a $3.3 billion decision annually in U.S. military assistance to Israel. On November 3, he published a video on social media, including s of demonstrators who accused genocide of Palestinian people on social media and chanting from river to sea. Ms. Tlaib said that he saw as a call life, not destruction hatred. Not for destruction or hatred. Human rights peaceful together. He promised continue work. He has centralizing peaceful together between Israelis Palestinians. No one anyone has suffer for fear of violence. Ms. Tlaib's slogan defense. As well as condemnation of Biden administration. Michigan's Attorney General Dana Nessel and both rejected Democrat Gretchen Whitmer. On Tuesday. Ms. Tlaib's Democratic colleagues joined Republicans make adopt a decision censor her and make Kopasmek calling the destruction of Israeli state. He organizes television ads that criticize Tlaib. Melman said, Congress member Tlaib did not take his colleagues' Congress without taking a radical step with the Democratic Party and taking the Democrats in Michigan. And someone may be interested running against him.